Welcome back to KSP. Okay, I was looking through some comments and I, I saw this one and it kind of caught my attention a little bit. I should try to basically build a rocket vertically without any adding anything to the sides. So pretty much what I'm doing this video is I'm going to go to Duna and then back. But I can't add anything to the sides of the rocket. And also I added my own little uh, twist to it. So my, my little twist to it is that I have to use the same radius for the entire rocket too. So it stays like the same width all throughout the rocket just to make it a little more interesting. We got quite a simple challenge. I just wanted to see if I can get to do another back doing it. So yeah, like what well, I can, I can just build like, for example, um, we have a pod, right? We can put like a parachute and put a parachute up here, right? Cause that's like, you know, it's not on the side, but we can't put parachutes like on the sides like this. That's not allowed. Like if we have a lander or something like it's just that's also not allowed. We can't use legs either. We can't use anything that goes on the side like that. So at all, we can only like do stuff like vertically, and that's like the whole thing. This is actually the only rocket I build in this challenge. So honestly, it's quite a simple build. Um, I I don't think I mentioned this, but it has to be also the same like radius. So I, I can only use, for example, on this rocket a 1.25 meter diameter um, like rocket for all the stages. So that's what I was building here. And I had like the one of the core landing stages have a lot of reaction wheels because I, there's no landing legs. So I had to try to land on Duna and stay up without landing legs. And I, that was like, I was really concerned about that. So I put on a bunch of RCS wheels and batteries because we can't use solar panels either. There, that works. Um, I guess let's just Try to get to Duna with this. It has no fins, so I'm kind of worried. But, I mean, I'm sure it'd be fine. Hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. This, this is a rocket right here. This is a rocket. A real rocket. <laughs> Alright, well. Easiest Duna mission ever, man. We're just going straight up to Duna and going right back then. I didn't add a heat shield. That's going to be problematic in the future. Oh, well. We're just going to go. I don't care. Question is, can this thing not flip over? Like, if I turn, like, even slightly, is this going to flip? No, but it does wobble. Here, do you see the wobble? <laughs> That's with auto strut, too. It's like a little, it's like, it's like a little uh, worm. It's like a worm. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Even though it was quite wobbly, it actually flew really well. Also, last time I got a lot of comments talking about my gravity turn. So here's your gravity turn for you. <laughs> I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. There goes like half a rocket. <laughs> I don't even know if this, if this is really considered a challenge. This is kind of, I don't know, it's kind of easy, but we're, we're, we're gonna ball anyway. This mission starts off really easy, like I just stated, but there are some unexpected turns I have to face in the future, which really make this kind of challenging. It's like a five minute, five minute mission for real. All right, well, let's stop lollygagging. Let's go to Duna. And I'll fix it on the way. We're like, you just blasting through this. Honestly, quite a typical Duna, like, transfer. I just you know, got a, a decent encounter and then halfway through the transit, I just changed my trajectory where I was like the cheapest for Delta V. Nothing crazy, but I did have less fuel than I thought I would at this stage and that was becoming an issue. Holy moly, what's up Duna? We're pulling up to Duna's crib. Pulling up to Duna's crib, yeah. Oh wow, okay, we're here. That's quick. It's a 35 second burn. That's not bad at all. Yeah, so after this, uh, do not insertion burn, I would be left with only 160 meters a second in my landing stage. So I put my periapsis in the atmosphere so I can slow down using the atmosphere. So I actually have enough fuel to actually land on Duna in the first place. I'm going to try to burn off some speed without burning to death, though. You know what I mean? Are we slowing down at all? Let's see. We are slowing down, so we can low-key just farm this a few orbits if we have to. Because fuel is kind of iffy. I just need enough to land... I can, I think I can take off with this stage, hopefully. Yeah, wait, because we put the, can we? Hmm, I hope so. Oh, we're getting a little toasty. Ooh, wow, yeah, we're getting a little bit toasty. Honestly, the Duna Descent went almost perfect. We didn't even really get that hot, but we 
slow down enough to land in the atmosphere on the first entry, which was really nice. My only major concern was that I, I plan on having more fuel by now. I don't know how long we have until we hit the ground, but I'm nervous. Probably not long. 45 seconds? Seems about right. How slow can we go, though, without pushing our engines? That is the question of the day. If we need to, I'm ready to, to do it. We might have to. We might have to. Shit. We're getting pretty close. Oh shit, there's a parachute. Is that gonna be enough though? Ooh, ooh, that was clutch. Okay, we're going pretty slow now. We're going 40, 30? Do a Jepsies. That's tough. Hey, wait, I need to lock in. We're close to the ground. Yeah, we have really strong reaction wheels though, so I think we could be able, we should be able to land and stay up. That's, that's what I'm really hoping because I really don't want to flip. All right. We need to touch the ground going as slow as possible. Oh shit. Wobbling. Wobbling. Oh god. Okay, just don't fall over. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. Let's go. <laughs> All on a swivel engine. <laughs> oh shit. Let's go, Jeb. Let's go. That's not good. Jeb. Jeb. Oh. Jesus. That's really not good. Um, I don't know why I didn't I didn't think of this. Uh, obviously, you throw the weight off, it's gonna flip over. Can we recover this? Probably not, but I'm gonna try. And just pull it up. Pull up. Oh shit. And no matter what way I take Jeb out, like no matter where I face, it always flips over. I have to plant my flag, so I need to figure out how to take off while sideways. Oh, Jeb just ate his rocket. Okay, hold on. Let's. <laughs> He's gonna flip out no matter what. So I'm gonna plant our flag. You know, type shit. But now we need to get off of Yuna. Uh, like right now. Wait, that Loki worked. That Loki worked. Hold on. Let's get the fuck out of here. So after tactically blowing up half my rocket when taking off, we can finally get off of Duna in one piece and get the fuel from the medium stage. My main concern now was, of course, still my fuel because... After getting Duna Orbit, I only had 1,100 meters a second of Delta V, which I don't know if that's enough to return to Kerbin in one piece. Do we have enough fuel to get back to Kerbin? <laughs> 1,100, I want to say yes. I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Oh, yeah, there we go. And I'll, I'll make it a little bit better when we're actually at Kerbin. While we have enough fuel to get back to Kerbin, at least it's here of influence, we don't have enough fuel to slow down and land in Kerbin. So, um, I didn't have a heat shield either. So we're in quite the pickle. We can't do a, a forced, like, you know, deorbit, orbit. And we also can't really aero break, at least not surviving aero breaking. So my first idea was to use the, the Mun as like a, kind of like a break to try to stop myself. That works. I can, I can live with that. After like a million Mun flybys, it just doesn't work. So low key. It was a dumb idea, but I was just trying all my options. So we try a more risky method. That's not good. With no heat shield, that's the main issue. If we had a heat shield, we'd be fine. It's just we don't have a heat shield. Honestly, this would have been fine if I didn't be a doofus and spin using all of my electric charge when I didn't even need to, which really screwed up this entire thing. Okay, well, we are in the atmosphere now. Only issue is we have no electric charge because we can't really have solar panels or anything. But hey, we're in the atmosphere, so... Wow, look at that, Jeb. 
If that's not concerning, I don't know what is. If, dude, this, this would be horrifying. If, this, if I was in this rocket, I'd be fucking shitting bricks. You're spinning, like, because you're out of power, you're out of fuel, and you look out your window and you just see fucking, like, plasma blasting against, like, your entire rocket. Like, yeah, I'd be freaking out. Oh, I didn't repack the parachute. Jeb almost burned up immediately. <sighs> Pod was facing... Oh, no, 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 no. Can't even do anything to save Jeb. Oh, God. Fuck! <laughs> Fuck. Okay, so I tried it again, but without wasting my electric charge instantly. It does end up working, but it takes several re-entries. Like, a lot. I think over 10, like, dips into the atmosphere at around 50 kilometers up. It took me 30 minutes. 30 minutes. All this is 30 minutes of me trying to deorbit back into the atmosphere. It took me so long. Oh my lord. There are some moments where I push the craft to a little bit so it gets deeper in the atmosphere because I got tired of waiting. But that doesn't really change anything, to be honest. <laughs> like, that does almost nothing. But eventually, we do actually get down and finish this mission. All this could have been avoided if I just added a heat shield. I should have added a heat shield. Okay, we got one more re-entry in the tank. We better re-enter this time. We better re-enter. There we go. Oh yeah, we're going down. Going down fast. Uh oh. Oh god. Jeb? I can't spin, because then... Oh, crap. Please hang in there. Hang in there. Hang in there. Oh shit. Not again. <laughs> Not this again. Jeb. <laughs> Don't freak out. <laughs> but this is not good. <laughs> this is not good. Oh yeah, wow. He, um... I think he knows. I think he knows it's not good. I think he's aware he's probably gonna die a horrible, painful death. Well, we're out of charge. We're on the verge of blowing up. On the verge of blowing up. What? 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 <laughs> what just happened? I don't know what happened, but shit. Okay. <laughs> I can live with that. <laughs> we survived that? Jeb. Jeb. You are the luckiest son of a bitch I have ever seen. Nah. There's no way, dude. Genuinely no way. Jeb just tanks it. Like a fucking G. Every time. Jeb just tanks this shit. Jeb should not be alive. Oh, there's more clouds. Yo, this looks sick. It's like sunset, too. We're still, like, halfway overheated. So yeah, that's how I got to Duna and back, using um, a pencil rocket with no attachments or anything on the sides and the same radius all around. Honestly, it was actually quite a fun little mission, even though it was only mainly challenging because I was too stupid to add heat shields. But yeah, so that was that. Was that. Honestly, um, nothing crazy. I'm just glad we got Jeb home safe after last time leaving him on Minmus. RIP Jeb. Yeah, that was it. Um, thank you for watching. I'll see you later.